For nearly two years now, MSU officials have maintained Larry Nasser tricked everyone he worked with, hiding abuse behind a renowned career. Well, now we're getting better insight into what his colleagues thought back then of the now convicted felon. Yesterday, Lindsay McCommell brought us recordings with Dr. Jeffrey Covan. Tonight, she has what two additional doctors told MSU police back in 2016. How did Larry contact you? Was it via text message or a phone call? Did I see your cell phone? Dr. Brooke Lemon met with MSU PD in the fall of 2016. The main topics, contact she had with Nasser after his firing and the patient files she admitted to removing at his request. It's like, where do you think they keep those charts? It's like, you shouldn't get those. Like, that would be bad. Right. Like, I just, I remember saying that to mm -hmm. him. And so that, like, that, like, rang back through my head. Like, he shouldn't have these. Okay. Like, that, that feels bad. Despite feeling bad, Lemon took two boxes worth of files to her house, but eventually turned them back over to university personnel. Right, so there, um, I told them about all your charts here and it's and they are taking them off and putting them in a safe place. Did he seem mad? No, or? he's like, oh, that's probably a good idea. Okay. <laughs> Lemon sat with investigators for nearly an hour. Their conversation with one of her superiors, Doug Dietzel, was much shorter, but confirmed that she did not tell him she would be removing records from the office. She was coming over to clean out some of his pictures and stuff that were in the rooms. Okay. Um, but that's all that was discussed at that time. And then I think it was after the fact she had mentioned that she had taken the records just to keep them away from Larry so he wouldn't have access to them. Based on both of their accounts, there was an overall lack of organization and communication within the clinic, perhaps a factor in why Nasser's colleagues appeared dumbfounded by initial accusations. He was a mentor mm -hmm. and a colleague and a friend. In a lot right. Of and okay. so, you know, so I considered him a, a good friend. That was Lindsay McComo reporting. This afternoon, we received a statement from Lemon's attorney, which says in part, Dr. Lemon removed two boxes of records but did not deliver them to Nasser or his counsel. You can read that entire statement right now on woodtv.com.